top two offense. It's going to be important for the Clippers to really keep an eye on Mike Conley Jr. Last game, 11 for 17 from the field for 29 points. Bogdanovich goes down the lane and met at the peak of his leap by Kawhi Leonard, knocking it out of bounds. He's the, he's the best defender in the league. And right away, you see the 52-inch hands. I got to throw it out there <laughs> quick again. Kawhi Leonard gets that block for his team. And you see this play as Montrez, just the extra hustle, hustle there by Trez. But they, if they continue to play defensively, no matter if they're up 10 points or down, they can find a way to get back in the game. And grabbing that knee of his seems to be just fine as you see him set the screen for Kawhi. Yep, I would say that leg feels just yeah. fine. And Montrez able to pump it in, bringing the Clippers to within two. Montrez to the rim. No, usually sure-handed around the iron. Long rebound jabbed over to Kawhi Leonard. A variety of moves for the lead. He put it in. Uh-oh, he's back. <laughs> Kawhi Leonard getting into that mid-range spot and use that world Duro fake. Kawhi was one for nine in that first half. Doesn't take him much. Knocked that down man. a second jump. Conley misses everything. Leonard with the rebound. Kawhi tied up on the way up, but a whistle and a foul. One out of two for Kawhi. And he comes away with a steal. The gift of grab elevates and punches it in with the right hand. Did you see the 52-inch hands, Kawhi Leonard? <laughs> he just took the ball away from Bogdanovich like he want, like he didn't want it. If they could find a way to start clicking, and that's the first one, click number one, they could change this game in a hurry. And they're likely passing to one yes. another because nobody else is knocking down shots. Kawhi Leonard! Uh-oh, it's the fourth quarter. Going to belong to him. 15 against San Antonio on Thursday. Knocks down the shot there to once again cut the lead in half. Montrez looking for Kawhi. Late in the clock. Steps away for three in the lead. Got it! 17 for Kawhi. Conley. No. Leonard with a rebound. Clippers do not have numbers and he slows the roll. Pulls the trigger for three. Yes, sir! Clippers by six. I mean, Brian, you showing enthusiasm through this game. You are getting hyped. I'm getting hyped. And Kawhi Leonard, there we go, baby, is fine tonight. Started jumping yeah. for Kawhi. Give me a break. Four of six in the fourth quarter. I mean, I don't know if you can get it defensively any better than that. A year ago, the Clippers were terrific in spots like this. And they pick up where they left off last year. Leonard down the lane. Jump shot to it. A year ago, the Clippers were terrific in spots like this and they pick up where they left off last year Leonard down the lane jump shot to it Mitchell into the paint for the tie nobody does draw the foul Kawhi in the mid-range no but Montrez Harrell comes away with a loose ball look at Trez battling I mean this is seven footer down there Rudy Gobert and he's skying over everyone to get another possession. Lou for three in the lead, knocks it in. Mitchell gets a screen from Gobert. Down the lane, whistle, and a foul. And once again, Donovan Mitchell will go to the free throw line for two. Baby Donovan Mitchell, really blazing. Lou to the rim, no rebound, tapped up and in by Montrez Harrell. Leonard hounds Mitchell. Late in the shot clock for Utah. Whistle, and that will be a foul on Jermichael Green. Donovan Mitchell really pulled out a Lou Williams play, drawing that foul on Jermichael Green. And now Lou Williams really said, hey, I'm going to show you how I can do the exact same thing. Green all alone for three. Book it. Mitchell for three. And Lou Williams has the rebound. A bucket would go a long way here. Lou for three. Leonard. Battling for the rebound, a whistle and a loose ball foul will be called against O'Neal and the Jazz. Another brilliant quarter from Kawhi Leonard. 14 points in the frame and the Clippers lead by two possessions.